Welcome to these four walls. We really appreciate y'all tuning in today. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section because your boy is reading the comments. So watch what you say now. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. I've been reading y'all comments and I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna make sure I keep listening. I have a lot of vlog content that I'm still getting out. It's not up to date, up to date yet, but please be patient with us, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog. We love y'all. Let's get this vlog started. Trying to get on the same page, and we're gonna. We've decided to get away from the puppy pads. We haven't had her experience an outside potty yet, so this is what we're trying to do right now. So we filled up with water, and we're not sure what it looks like when she goes outside because she's new to the whole world. She's new to that. She's new to grass, rock, everything. So every single stop we make, I think it's mostly curiosity. I think it's mostly curiosity more than smelling for, for potty. But yeah, we're still learning each other. We're learning each other. We're learning each other. Hey, babe. Hi. How are you? See you shining in the grass? Good. Good? Yeah. You had a good workout this morning. So crazy. I just hope. That this love is for real. Yeah. I did. Like a little overcast kind of day. She's picking up rocks and leaves. She's new to all this stuff, so. She's never even been on the grass yet, so. Potty. That's the word I've been using. For the longest, for the month that we've had her. We've had her for a month. Beanie. Sit. I'm trying to catch her. Because she'll she only learn will learn when we praise her mm -hmm. when she does it. Mm -hmm. Just like how she learned on the puppy pad because she got that down but now we got to break her out of that. yeah we got to take out our puppy pad because we ultimately don't want her going on the puppy pad for the rest of our life so we want her going through the doggy door outside in the rocks in the grass in the confined space and i know some people they just let their dog just go wherever but i personally want her to go in a specific area so i can know where to tell the kids to clean where i'm gonna clean and pick up poop really stuff all in the water while this so does she. Look at those little paw pants. <laughs> you like those rocks? Mommy got her living it up. She's like, sure, this is my type of walk. This is my type of walk. My type of walk is her panting. <laughs> you like that stick? First ever stick, huh? You don't know how to act. Your mama got you living it up. She's like, well, I don't care about sticks. You have to pee? You pee in them the big boulders. Them Are you kidding me? Never know. Maybe that's her thing. No. I like big rocks and I cannot lie. Hi, baby. Baby, we're party. You like went party. You went party, girl. She went party. Good job, Beanie. Good girl, <laughs> Beanie. Beanie did her first pee. Now let Dad get back to walking you now, with some discipline, now, some structure and all that. Now. Well, you would have kept walking, she would have never did it. I know, she would have did it on the concrete, I right when I told her know. to. Right when I told her to, like she would have did it. Come on. Back to no more smelling. You gotta walk, come on. She got her addicted Aww. to stopping. Yeah, uh -uh. it's fine. We're going on a walk, not a, a sniff test. Only when we get to our destination, She's that's when... She's a baby. That's when she can stop. When it's I tell okay. her, she can stop. She's going to love mommy more. Mm -hmm. Just because you're just... Structured? No. This one? No. Come on, see? Stop for every leaf. She's getting tired, babe. She's a baby. She... We've barely been walking. It's been 15 minutes. That's long for her. She's three months. 
Y'all pray for me. Y'all, who y'all agree with? I'm telling you. He's they doing too much. You a woman. Beanie, sit. Good girl. That's my good girl. Good job, girl. Good girl. She's on for sure. She just potty? Yeah, she yeah. potty. She right just potty. She just potty right here, y'all. So that's the area that I she want her to go potty, y'all. Yeah, so right now. That's our first time in the backyard. Hi, huh, Beanie. Beanie. We timed it so like we did a walk as y'all saw and then we brought her back and then she went right to sleep so she always passes out after a walk she was like all right now it's time for my nap now so like we've been petting her but we've been trying like kind of to limit it so we want most of her cool fun time to be just outside so that she doesn't get in the habit of like depending on someone constantly to like pet her all the time yeah um, we want her to be a chill dog, which she usually is. Like she, as soon as we came back home from the first walk that y'all saw, she just went right to sleep, and mm -hmm. she's been just laying like down. An hour and a half, time. two hours. For like long? two, two and a half hours. That's usually what she does. Mm -hmm. Two hours. Yeah, she's and out. and we, I mean, she would have been laying there still. We got her yeah, up we got to her drink up. some water. She didn't want it. She didn't want water. That's a fact. That's a good. So he just had to take the leash off. Give me anxiety. We're done going outside. I know. <laughs> Mommy's like really turning into a dog whisperer. Sit. I don't understand. Shh. Queen D whisperer. <laughs> Sit. Good girl. I'm trying to not be so controlling. Until you can't throw it. Play more in the background and not well, stress out. Not because, oh, you know, so everything's not going my way. So I'm trying to chill. You, it already. you could mold it Sit. back. Good girl. Good girl. Day two, her, we've been putting her through the puppy door. She has to sniff it and, and learn herself. So this is what I've been doing, y'all, yeah, all morning. Got frustrated because she peed on her bed and I've washed this thing like so many times. And y'all, I ain't trying to hear it. And Dee been telling me, everybody been telling me the kids have been amazing. I'm the only one that's triggered about it. I'm like, oh, she's a puppy. I don't want to hit at I don't want to hit it at all. Especially not in the mood I'm in. You gotta be in the mood to hit that. Beanie, Beanie, don't go. I'm watching, I'm, I'm waiting for her to do that little quick squat down she do. Cause you know, dogs with coos, dogs with coos, they squat down real fast. Don't, that's her boundary right there. She don't go past it, she don't go in the hallway. I'm glad you know, I'm on you. I'm on you, you understand? Yeah, she pooed for the first time outside, so that's, that's great. The kids and and Dee, they're about to go to the mall. <laughs> Get away. It's my area. It's my area, Zoomies. It's my area, Zoomies. And she's been coughing up and, and little throw-ups here and there because she's going around eating every fuzzy on ever made. And she won't eat her food, so... She's, she's weird. This adolescent phase is really like annoying to me. I just want her to get like, not bothered or not have to sniff every single thing. <laughs> get off the carpet. So she's super adolescent, which she is, I know, blah, blah, blah. 
but she goes around all day like this. Super. Like, have to smell and sniff everything. And that's just a, a, a socket underneath there. Every single time that she loves to go and smell. Over and over and over. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate all y'all experienced puppy dog owners, all your comments, your emails, your DMs to Instagram, everywhere. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks to my wife. She said, baby, we should just scratch the puppy pad. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scratch the puppy pad until uh, only at nighttime. So far, it's been two days since we, all day, we wouldn't have puppy pads and we just been taking her outside. I have the monitor here. That's her sleeping upside down right now. Cause that's hilarious. How she, when she's knocked out, she just lays on her back. Today, she pooed on the walk for the first time, twice today. Uh, she peed every single walk. I took her on two walks in the morning and then one in the afternoon. Then I've taken her in the backyard in a designated pee and poo area with the leash and one without the leash. And I was thanks to my wife. My wife said, let's go bring her outside. Let's go take her on the walk. All this stuff I think I've been, I've been wanting you know, a change, like just being cooped up. I don't want to be limited inside, but let me show you a uh, beanie. See if I can sneak up on that. Bob created to help the pups. He can do almost anything. Oh, they're talking about- What are you doing on his back with me? Okay, come do you want to show me? Baby, go fly. Jordan. Why would you go no, and wake her up? Jordan waked oh, her up. So she's definitely used to all our noises. Talking, TV. She's just comfortable. I'm gonna take out the potty before we head out. Me and my wife about to go out and um and go eat real quick. Looking forward to more time with my baby. We're having more intentional date nights, intentional hangout time, intentional let's watch a show together, intentional let's get some squeaky squeaky, some licky licky. You know what I'm talking about? Well, we, you know. We take care of each other because we love each other. Even though she get on my nerves sometimes, and I know, I know, I could channel in or her. I could channel her and say, I know I get on her nerves. That's just what I do. So that's just, that's what comes with all this that she gets. She gets greatness and she gets, you know, the bad stuff too. You gotta take the good with the bad. Everything I've been working on myself is trying to be more balanced. Like I have to be more balanced. Don't be a perfectionist, Jerry. Don't have such high expectations for everything including the puppy. The puppy has been driving me crazy. But this change of pace, the pottying and the peeing all over the house and, and her having accidents is really stressing me out. It has been stressing me out. But today has been a, a good day, so I'm not gonna ignore the good thing. Hey, baby. How you doing? Good. So we out to eat, y'all. Daytime. Me and my baby. The most beautiful woman on the planet. I love you. We have our water. Cheers. Cheers. To love. Yeah, so we're just chilling. Talk. We're going to drive now. I'll show y'all what I ordered in a little bit. Ugh, gross. Disgusting. Worst salmon and asparagus ever in my life. And fries? Oh. I had to talk to the cook because them was going to be disgusting. How was your steak? It's really good. I'm still working on them. My baby got a small mouth. That's how she do. And a whole thing of asparagus right here. I love these lights, y'all. These lights are my favorite. And of course, that little accent. Nice little view outside, a reflection of the light. These lights are definitely a highlight. I mean, it's a good feeling. Me and my wife have a conversation. Y'all tell me what y'all think. So, baby, if somebody goes to jail, is there a certain time that they have to be in there before it's considered them being in jail? Yes. So, how long does somebody have to be in jail for it to be considered they went to jail? Because some people, some people like for minor stuff, like they'll, they'll turn themselves in post bond and like they're technically never even in jail. But they're in jail though. They're like in a jail for like an appointment to like for a few hours, I feel like. Like that doesn't count. Well, doesn't that count as someone going to jail? If I had been in there for like eight hours, I can't walk around and tell people I've been to jail. Well, 
Well, yeah, you don't count, okay? No. <laughs> okay, a, ra a, a random person. I'm not going to jail. You not. But any random person, if they go to jail for a few hours, you don't count it as them going to jail? I'm saying, like, for, like, um, certain things, like misdemeanors or something. No, we're not talking about that. If you step foot in a jail, that means you went to jail. Not really. Usually it's, like, a holding cell. It's not really jail. It's inside the facility. It's in the building. I, they went to jail. To me, it counts if it's 24 hours. What? What type of logic is that, y'all? Y'all <laughs> let me know. Leave a comment. <laughs> this is the type of conversation we have right now. So we're going to finish talking about who we talk about. Because somebody went to jail. And she's like, no, nah, I don't think they went to jail. Because they weren't that long. I'm like, what? There's a warrant out for her arrest. And she turned herself in and got released a couple hours later. But she went to jail, though. <laughs> Does she have a record? She's probably in a holding cell. I, don't I know, but the, the pictures and the fingerprint and everything. I'm not sure. That's the only way you can go to jail. To admit you in, even in the holding cell, you went to jail. That person could claim that they got stripes. They went to jail. I don't know the process. Thank God. Okay, did Paris Hilton go to jail when she went for like six hours? Did she go to jail? When she like broke a record for uh, back in the day, you remember? When celebrity, we remember Lindsay Lohan, all the celebrities don't break records for getting out super fast. They went to jail though. Okay. <laughs> Any of y'all been to jail? Let us know. <laughs> all the convicts, let us know. What's up, y'all? Out for our morning walk. Beanie already went pee. I'm mad at myself because I missed the opportunity this morning to take out earlier, but the kids weren't up yet. Dee was at the gym, and so she didn't get to go poo outside. Should have let, let her go outside in the backyard. I was hoping she was going to hold it until her walk. I gave her some water, and then it's like clockwork, really. After you give them something to drink or something to eat, it's going to be shortly after they're going to go potty. She's, I'm just letting her explore. Big patch of grass, you know. What's going on, Beanie? What you got, a leaf? You got a leaf or something? Beautiful day. Hopefully y'all having a, a good day. And if not, it happens sometimes. Bound to have obstacles and difficulties in life. That's what I've come to realize. I'm just trying to balance myself out. Not to expect every day to be good, like every day to be perfect. I'm setting myself up for failure. I'm thankful to, to be out. Appreciating the little things in life right now. My girl sniffs every single thing. You know, that's a puppy. It does get annoying sometimes. Cause it's like, all right, man. Everything don't smell that good. Party. I'm party. I'm gonna pull you out now. Can't stand in one spot now and sniff. You gotta have a purpose now. Party. Party. Get out of here. Party. Good girl. He's such a good girl. Good girl, Potty. We just finished playing outside. It was amazing, right, Joe? Yep. You kept her busy. Jordan's recording Joe Cam. Me and Jerry were practicing football routes. And now we're gonna say goodbye to Puffy Pads. We're not doing Puffy Pads no more. It's a wrap, y'all. So let's say goodbye to this. Move, Benny. Yeah, you, you should say bye to it too, because you love tearing these up. It's her favorite thing to chew on, Joe. Mm. So no more. So if she goes, she's gonna go on the floor and or just hold it and wait till we take her outside. I took her on two walks today. Right, Joe? Yep. Thank you for allowing me to go by myself, Jordan. Uh. Jordan! Jordan always wants to come with me. And the last time they came with me, I got really frustrated. Right? Yep. Because Beanie couldn't mm. focus. You guys were talking, you guys were running. She was running after y'all. It's like it was a it was a lot going on. So I was able to have some me time. Just like I let you have your your you time, Joe. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just picking up this puppy pad and we'll be done with it. We only ordered it twice from Amazon. Two packs. And we say goodbye. We're not putting them down no more. So I just gotta, I just gotta spray this. And wipe it up, and we'll be good to go. This girl went bust through the, the doggy door and got the zoomies. Look at her. Look at her. Go potty.
Spotty. You're taking advantage of the doggy door. She's coming out. She's like, oh, I can come out here and play. Potty beam. Fucking up the shadows over there. Oh, you're gonna stand up on my back? You ain't gonna do nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. If you scared, go inside. What are you doing, Dean? Alright, y'all. We're gonna say goodnight. We'll see y'all in the next video. We appreciate y'all. Love and support. Sit. Good girl, Beanie. Love you. She just had to go outside and get some zoomies out. I'm Beanie. You're just a beanie beanie girl. I know, I know, that's the end of the vlog. I know you wanna see more. Make sure you click the subscribe button. And also, leave your thoughts down below. I wanna hear positive things, I wanna hear critiques, I wanna hear a lot of hate, I wanna hear a lot of love. I wanna hear it all from y'all. We really appreciate y'all on these four walls. Continue to crank out more content for y'all. Remember, we have a lot of content that I'm trying to push out that I've already recorded like a week or so ago. We're getting up to date, so please be patient with us. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get all y'all requests, all the things y'all wanna see. Leave them down below. Thank y'all for y'all love and support. God bless y'all. And remember, take care of what's in your four walls. Love y'all.